Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews Now 2, and today we're going to use a USB stick to flash the motherboard BIOS on our MSI B350 PCMate. Okay, so if you've got an MSI PCMate motherboard and you want to upgrade it to the latest AM4 processor, such as the Ryzen R7 2700 or 2700X, you're going to need a new BIOS update to enable that processor to work. So I'm going to show you now how to do the BIOS update and how simple it can be. So the first thing you need to do is go to the MSI website and find the appropriate model for your motherboard and go to the download section and download the BIOS file in, as a compressed file. Then you can decompress the file onto a USB memory stick and then you're pretty much ready to go. So you put the memory stick into the computer. And when you turn the PC on, press the delete key to enter the BIOS. So you tap the delete key until the motherboard BIOS comes up, and in this case the MSI click BIOS. And what we want to do is do M flash. So the system will automatically reboot the reboot. The system will automatically reboot and enter flash mode. Do you want to enter flash mode? Well, yes we do. Okay, so we're in M flash mode now, and it's found our Kingston Data Traveler USB 3 drive, and within that drive it's found the BIOS update, which in this case is the 7A34VAE. The AE is the uh, appropriate bit on here. A lot of the motherboards, they went AA, AB, AC, AD, now AE. So we've selected the file, and are you sure you want to select this file? And yes, we are. So now the BIOS is going to update in the background. Uh, the keyboard and mouse will be disabled during this, so you can't accidentally mess it up. And it does take a little while, so uh, we'll fast forward through this bit. Okay, so now the, uh, the BIOS is finished and it will do a couple of reboots just to uh, reinitialize the settings and then we should be back into Windows. Okay, so that was our MSI B350 PC Mate motherboard BIOS updated to the latest version. Now it's got support for the uh, Ryzen CPUs with onboard graphics, so that's the 2200G and the 2400G and also the latest 2000 series processors like the 2700 and the 2700X. Hopefully this video has been useful for you. If it has, give it a like. If not, give me a dislike, but tell me why in the comments. And we'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching.